space. What's in space? Black hole. Black holes have been a topic of discussion since Einstein first predicted their existence in 1916, and even in 2019 when his first selfie without makeup was released, along with internet-wide disappointment. While I was binging some science fiction TV, I noticed black holes are always used to explain time travel. But why do black holes have anything to do with time travel? Well. To understand that, we have to look at Einstein's theory of relativity. This basically states that the faster you move through space, the slower you move through time. Ten years later, he then updated his theory to include gravity. So the stronger gravitational field acting on you, the slower you move through time. Not convinced? In 1959, cobalt clocks were placed on top of the Harvard University building. Another clock was placed on the ground floor. Based on this theory, the clock at the bottom should move slower since it is closer to the center gravity of the Earth, which is exactly what happened. This is known as time dilation. Therefore, if you can withstand a great amount of gravity for a period of time, it is technically possible to travel into the future. Well, think of it more like fast-forwarding your life, like in the movie Interstellar. Einstein believed that space and time are one and the same, and hence created the mathematical model of space-time, which is a fabric that combines the three dimension of space with the fourth dimension of time. The fabric of space-time can be warped through the gravitational field of objects. The stronger the field, the more warped it is. So how does this link to black holes? Well, black holes are collapsed stars that have such a strong gravitational field, not even light can escape it. Wait a minute. It. No light coming out, so it's black. Oh, black hole, I get it. Yeah, it took you a while. Because black holes are the Satan spawn of gravity incarnate, weird timey-wimey stuff happens inside a black hole. This is a black hole structure, and this is what you call an event horizon, known as the point of no return because nothing inside it can be observed from the outside. Now this is the cool part. Through manipulating some equations, we can figure out that inside the event horizon, the coordinates of space and time are swapped. Whoa, cool. But what does that mean? Well. You see, in space, we are free to move in any direction, but only forward in time. In the event horizon, however, they are swapped, so we can freely move through time, but not space. Theoretically, this makes time travel possible, and is what most science fiction titles exploit to explain their time travel shenanigans. However, they overlook the fact that you will most definitely die, since you can now only move forward in space, and no matter what direction you try moving, you only die faster. Not very nice. However, some titles go above and beyond to try and explain this plot whole, using something called a Kerr black hole, which is a spinning, non-charged black hole. The special thing about this black hole is that there are two event horizons, meaning that space and time will get swapped twice. So in the first event horizon, same stuff, travel through time, inevitable death. But when you get to the second event horizon, we can now control our position in space again. Therefore, after we've already time traveled, it is possible to escape being crushed in the singularity of this black hole. Voila, time travel accomplished. Keep in mind the other laws of physics, such as laws of causality, are a bit unclear when it comes to backwards time travel. So, is time travel possible? Who knows? But it's still fun to think about. And who knows if the science fiction today will still be fiction in the future. Or even the past. You know too much.